Friday, 2017 Pan Am Championships. First men's quarterfinal of this week. And what a great one it is going to be. We have David Bobby Horn from the United States competing against, one would say, his friend, uh, given their vast experience at the international level, Andres Acuna from here in Costa Rica. Very excited by this match. Acuna has been on fire this week in the round robin, and it's been terrific to watch him represent his country amongst the many fans here. I'm joined today by Gustavo Farrell. Gustavo, thanks for joining me. What do you expect to see in this match? Quite honestly, Tim, I am not certain this is going to be a very fast-paced match until they get into their groove. Acuna starts with a Z-serve. And look at that. You can hear the crowd. They love it. First point obviously, for the local. Obviously a, an advantage for the local here. The crowd behind him. How about that? You can see the fist pump from Acuna. That's two quick points. Bobby Horn needs to regroup here. He's down 2-0. Only hit one ball so far. Holds up his racket, steadies himself. And that's a great pass from Bobby Horn. The IRF has recently changed their rules. Now it's a two-serve game, so they're going to be very aggressive on that first serve. Great pickup from Horn, but it's coming off the back wall. Yeah. The crowd thought it was good, but it was a skip. Backhand serve. That's an interesting choice for the serve selection right off the bat. He tends to like to hit that backhand quite a bit. Bobby. There's a good example, Gustavo, that you don't always have to hit it as hard as you can in order to win a point. It's really more about the accuracy and control sometimes. Good start from the Costa Rican, up 3-1. Make that four. You can see he's really motivated for this one. That serve uh, of Andres, I would have called that a footfall. His whole foot was in front of the red uh, service line. Skip ball. Score is 5-1. Holds up his racket, slows it down. And a skip there from Acuna. It's his favorite shot, that forehand pinch. Staying with that uh, backhand serve. It's a great serve. Good return, though, from Acuna. Forcing Horn to the ceiling. Replay called. Just a little contact between the two in the middle. Safety hold up. They look very calm out there. Obviously, the adrenaline is going early on. Another skip from the forehand of Horn. That's two in a row. Down 6-1. Both of these players, though, are very experienced. Gustavo, both of them have played for their country for many years. And many people may not be as familiar with Acuna, 
simply because he doesn't play so much professionally, but we've seen him for years representing Costa Rica, and I have to say this is the best I've ever seen him play this week. Yes, and I've seen him training constantly when, while not in the court throughout the tournament. What true professional athletes should, should do. That ball was hit out of the court. It is considered a side out because it did not bounce under the rules of the IRF racquetball. Another great serve. Acuna is going to shoot this. And a skip. It was close. That back glass is 12 feet high. And if it's a court that has a back wall, it would typically have a red line across the back at 12 feet. Short serve. Second serve. Our head official, Tuki Kravitz from Mexico. Oh, that's really close. Replay, you know, with appeals in the quarterfinals, we have line judges, players are entitled to three appeals. Acuna there has the possibility of appealing, asking for an avoidable kinder, considering how close Bo uh, Bobby Horn was there. That, that could have been called an avoidable hinder because Bobby actually backed into him and the player has a right to return the ball as long as he doesn't encroach into the uh, safety area. Beautiful shot. Standing room only. More, more than standing room only, we've got people looking through windows, hanging over ledges. They're really excited to see this. Bobby Horn, I'm not sure what he wants here. Maybe a wet ball hinder. There's an appeal on the court for a wet ball hinder. So one line judge agrees and one disagrees. Looks like. So the call stands. The appeal is marked against Bobby and the USA, entitled to the three appeals per game. Bobby Horn then takes a timeout. Andres Acuna gets an ace after that appeal, so he leads 8-1. Horn has about a minute to discuss with Dave Ellis what he's going to do differently. Uh, Gustavo Farrell and Tim Baghurst at the San Jose Indoor Club in Costa Rica. Gustavo, some of your thoughts about this club and facility. Well, I was surprised how beautiful it is and actually the city itself and the uh, obviously the climate that we have here is wonderful this time of year. It's actually cool in the evenings and uh, warm during the day. The facility has uh, six courts, two of which are on the back side. Uh, the main courts are four courts here. This being the, the principal one, court number one. Um, all regulation courts. Acuna settles. It's a good shot from Horn, but the serve was a little short. Two of the courts here, interestingly, are all white. It's been quite a, an experience officiating and participating on those courts. Yes, you had an opportunity to play on those. But on the show court here, it's Acuna. He's in complete control right now at 8-1. Make that 9-1. Sorry, side out. Acuna, usually a very calm and controlled player, but this week we've seen him a lot more emotional than normal probably because of where he's playing and how much it means to him and his country to gain really a medal if he advances to the next round. This is the medal winning round. Losers go home with nothing but some pride, hopefully. We have the remainder of the quarterfinal matches today as well. Great pickup, Acuna.
Oh, wow. Such control from the young Costa Rican. As you were saying, you don't necessarily have to bang the ball. That was not expected by Bobby, and he dropped it in there in the corner. Very nice. Right now, Acuna leads this 10-1. Horn steps back. Seems to be struggling right now with Acuna's ability to play defense and offense. That's better from Horn. Not so many cheers in the crowd for the American, but he needs to settle down here. Let's see if he tries something different on his serve. Looks like he will. Drive serve, probably, 110. And that might help. A bit scrappy in the middle, Gus, but finally Horn goes down the line. I'd like to take a moment to thank some of our sponsors here, the Olympic Channel, Ecoder. Looks like he's regaining control here, Bobby, of himself. Acuna slows it down, raises his racket. Great serve, Bobby Horn. Little fist pump from him. Four serving 10, one point at a time. He's got to close this gap, first to 15 for the first game. Tiebreaker, if necessary, goes to 11. He's coming back strong. One of the rules we have to speed up the game is a 10 second rule. That rule, that rule, we're gonna replay that, is both for the server and the receiver from whence the referee calls the score. They have 10 seconds to put the ball in play. Well, you could see Horn wasn't happy about the replay call, but Acuna did look a little impeded. A serve from cracked Bobby out. Horn, cracked out on the left side. Acuna hasn't taken a timeout. Oh, but it's a broken ball. So broken ball means that the, the previous point has to be replayed so that a serve is negated. That is correct. Had Bobby uh, gone and served the ball and the referee not seen that, he would have gotten the point. Thanks to all of you who are watching live. We appreciate all your support. Some discussion with head coach Dave Ellis and the official, and Bobby Horn asks him to <laughs> stop and go sit down. Discussion about the score. Clarification on the score. Acuna confirming that Bobby Horn was Actually, at six and it is back to five. Fist pump from Bobby Horn. He'll appeal this one. You can make up your own minds at home. Let's see what the line judges say. Look like a good serve from here. Oh, one line judge agrees, one disagrees, so the call stands, second serve. That would be an appeal used for Bobby. His second appeal, he has one remaining. Oh, that's beautiful, Bobby Horn. Acuna didn't do badly, slid it down the right side. It was a controlled shot, and it looks like Costa Rica are going to take their first time out. I'd like to continue to uh, thank our sponsors, Pecora Federación Costarricense de Racquetbol, the San Jose Indoor Club, this beautiful club where we are today, Costa Rica National Olympic Federation, Tortirricas, 
Hyatt Place, where all the uh, players and coaches are uh, staying. San Jose Pinares, Pasta Roma, CCDRC, Pro Pen. The green pen ball is the official racquetball. Well, you can see what we can see, which is Costa Rica having a discussion about what they need to do. They were up 10 serving one, and it's now six serving 10. Five points in a row for David Bobby Horn. I want to thank you all for joining us and ask that you do us a favor and just forward our feed on on Facebook so that we can share what we're doing with everybody around the world. Those of you who've already done so, thank you so much. We're trying to grow this sport internationally and we can't do it without people like yourselves sharing our feed. So let's go. Six serving 10. Horn climbing his way back in. Wow. Almost jumped as he hit that, Gustavo Ferrell. Don't do that one at home. That was not a high percentage shot, but yet it came out good for him. Not, not a high percentage shot for us, maybe, but for Bobby Horn, he knew exactly what he was doing. Horn not happy with the short serve call. He's got appeals. Doesn't look like he's going to. It is very, very difficult to see that. Uh, short line and the ball crossing at the speed it's going. And he does it again. Uh, Gustavo, one of the things that Acuna is doing is hitting that kind of sidewall, sidewall to get it to the back wall. Why is he doing that as opposed to doing the traditional ceiling ball? The ball here, the elevation, we're at about 3,500 feet. The ball carries very well and it comes right off the back wall if you just do the traditional ceiling ball. So this is a way to keep the ball off of the back wall along the uh, uh, this uh, three wall or four wall shot as you might call it and they do it quite effectively. Well Acuna hit a forehand pinch winner quite effectively. He finds himself back in the box 10 serving 8. Ball slides down the right wall. Horn gets a side out he wanted. Well, Acuna didn't even finish the point there. He was so confident it was a short serve. He appeals. Let's see what we get from the line judges. Both line judges overrule it. It will be second serve. I don't know if I would have done that. I think I would have played the point out. At least that's what the coaches tell you to do. Agreed. A little bit frustration from the Costa Rican in the back. You can see he's talking to himself. Nine serving 10. Horn, 10-1 ten down, climbing back one point at a time. He's getting into a groove. Oh, and he skips that one. You can hear the tension in the crowd as they cheer on their home favorite. This first game so important for both players. Good uh, backhand reverse pinch there. Super ball into the corner. Two bounces called by himself. It's good to see from David Bobby Horn. And Acuna had so much time. Haven't seen him skip this much. You can tell the pressure is a little bit on his shoulders right now, Gustavo. Horn, he's been here before. He's played many professional tournaments. Seems a little bit more relaxed than Acuna. Yes. Acuna was just confused there. Why is Bobby running around? What do I do in this situation? Is it an avoidable hinder? And 
as a consequence, couldn't put the ball down, lost concentration. Horn what, showed him what to do. What they're looking for here is see whether there's any wet spots. We want, don't want the players getting hurt. They agree the court's dry, move on. Oh, that's terrific technique, Acuna. But we saw where he took that shot. Not the greatest serve that Bobby Horns hit this week. No. And one of the things that we've had discussions with, with the altitude, the humidity, the cement courts, the propen green ball that we use, which is quite quick, a lot of serves do come off that back wall. And sometimes it's better to hit that short serve and take a second serve. That's right. That's right. Take advantage of a two-serve game. Great diving, get Acuna. Oh, that's two bounces, unlucky. Called correctly by the referee. And now they're asking for referee timeout, clean the floor. One of the rules that uh, we have in this sport now is that if you do not go in the court with your eye guards and or the tether of the racket on your hand uh, that is an automatic technical minus one point at the start of the game or if it should happen during the game as well say you walk out for a timeout we should mention that with the eye guards you have to wear them not just have them and we've seen players this week receive technicals who have been playing for 30 years because they just forget they may not do it at home and then they come to a tournament like this and the rules are enforced so we've seen several teams or individuals starting minus one. So one of the other interesting rules that most people may not know about is if you receive two technicals for the eye guards, i.e. you receive one, and then later in the match you receive a second one, it's an automatic forfeit. You don't get a second chance wearing the eye guards. It's a don't do it again kind of thing. Three technicals, three technicals result in a forfeit. Looks like with other situations. We've got a short serve appeal on the floor. Both line judges disagree. Overrule. So so this means that the call is reversed and so now we have a second serve. All of that rally is negated. Well, Acuna, he says, I'll take that second serve, and I'll make sure you can't touch it again. He rolls it out with his favorite forehand pinch winner. 11-10, four points away from game one. So close, that serve. And not surprisingly, we've got an appeal here for Bobby Horn. He's certainly using them. He's got one remaining. He'll appeal a short serve. And the call's overturned again. As, as I said there, Tim, yeah, that looked awfully close, and he, he agreed. So that kind of provides a reason why we have line judges, because it allows those three opinions rather than just relying on one set of eyes. Oh, love it, love it. The hands from Acuna took the pace off the ball, just guided it into the left side corner. Gustavo, we're seeing terrific power and precision from Acuna. Again, he had done that shot previously and took Bobby by surprise. He did it once again. Perfect. So that was off. a good serve. Reverse pinch winner, 13 serving 10. Reverse pinch goes across your body to the other side, hits the side wall to the front wall. Looks like we have a timeout on the court, courtesy of David Bobby Horn of the United States. We'll take a short break ourselves while these players regroup, and we'll be back with you very shortly. And we're back live, everyone. Bobby Horn sitting down with head coach Dave Ellis to discuss this. He's only five points away from 
the first gain, but Acuna finds himself a little bit closer. 13 serving 10. Just a reminder coming up today, we have many more matches. Some terrific, terrific matchups between great, great players. Javier Mar from Mexico will be taking on Samuel Murray from Canada. That's our next match, but for now. Great response, Bobby Horn. Bobby's Side not out. giving up yet. Yeah, he, uh, he's back in the service box. He's looking very confident. Good call, good call, short serve. A reminder, you can see all of the scores live and past on our website, internationalracquetball.com. Great defense. Oh, great get from Acuna. Oh, Acuna, side out. Terrific defense from the Costa Rican to stay in that point. We've got a referee's timeout. They're going to dry the floor. Bobby didn't put the ball down there. He had two opportunities to do so. Left it up for Andres, and finally Andres put it in that corner. Over on court three, a quick update. Alejandro Landa is taking on Canadian Mike Green. Landa is from Mexico. He took the first game 15-12. Mike Green was way up in the first game. Landa clawed his way back. And Landa leads 11-3 in the second. So we're back in 13-10. Bobby has one more appeal, no more timeouts. Great C serve. This will come way off the back wall for Acuna. Pinch rollout. Uno, says the crowd. Uno, one. They want one more point for Acuna to take this first game. Of course, we want to thank E-Force, our uh, sponsor here, primary sponsor, and Pro Pen, the green ball, official ball. Excellent return. So here's an interesting one. It looked like a good serve, and then Bobby thought it was short, but still hit it, and it rolled out on the front wall. So Bobby says, why well, I, I hit a good shot. Now let me just say this. If this would be uh, professional racquetball in the US under the uh, IRT rules, we would automatically have the last appeal on the game ending shot here. Fortunately, he had one appeal left. If he didn't have it, he wouldn't be allowed to appeal that shot. So he, our official, Tupi Kravitz, called it a skip. Bobby Horn appealed, lost the appeal. So skip called. Bobby Horn clearly not happy. He's got two minutes to regroup, having lost the first game 15-10. Hope you stick with us. We'll be back after this short commercial break. Buddy, Tim Baghurst, joined by Gustavo Farrell. We saw during the intermission some discussion between head coach Dave Ellis and Tuki Kravitz. Not sure what exactly was going on down there, but probably to do with those appeals and short serves. The serves that both players are hitting are so close to that short line. Very, very difficult to see from any angle, especially at the angle they're at right now. And while we would like to see the referees kneel, it's impossible for them to do that, starting the second game here. And a confident backhand rollout from Acuna. One of the requests officials can make is that players change their shirts to avoid some of the towel breaks. Looks like Acuna's done so here. And it's just textbook from Acuna. Horn didn't hit it long enough. Acuna rolled it out on the front right corner. When Acuna's hitting like that, Gustavo, there's not much you can do. The ball isn't bouncing. So place yourself in the situation of 
Coach Dave Ellis in the, uh, here. Bobby Horn loses the first game, down 2-0 in the second. What kind of strategy, what does Bobby need to do differently in order to get back in this? I think he's got to change his service game. Start finding a serve that will work better for him. Perhaps uh, his experience bringing in a lob serve. Uh, these young players typically don't like to uh, wait on the ball. They like to crush it. Oh, behind the back, Bobby Horn. And a great pickup, but Acuna, he waits, puts it down. Really terrific shooting from Acuna. Great defense, Bobby Horn. Ultimately, it was offense who took over against defense. I was, uh, as I said earlier, I've been watching Andres in between the, the matches as he played. He continues to practice. He continues to work out. Uh, he is, you can see, he's determined to bring his game up and we can see the results right here in this uh, match with Bobby Horn. Four serving zero in game two. Horn disgusted with himself. He's been asked to change his shirt by the head official. That, uh, if I were officiating, I would have given him a T, a technical, uh, a minus a point. That's not necessary. In that situation, I have to agree. It was a little bit petulant. He needs to control his emotions a little better, recognizing that he's not only representing his country, but also the sport. But we move on. We're back in. It's four serving zero. Acuna has the lead. He won game one 15-10. Really performing well in front of this standing room only crowd. Oh, great retrieval, Bobby Horn. You'll have a look here. They will replay that point. I think it's a good call. He held up, but he continued to play as he should. And that's what you're supposed to do is you can ask for a call, but if you don't hear anything, you keep, keep playing. playing. You've seen some players just stop and ultimately lose the point. Great return, Bobby Horn, it came off the back wall. He's still at 0-4. We're here in uh, sunny San Jose, Costa Rica for the 30th Pan American National Racquetball Games. Skip that time from Acuna. First skip of the second game gives Bobby a, a point. Bobby was at the 2016 Pan American Championships. Very close, very it, close. It did look short from here, but you can make up your own minds at home. Post them in the chat box, short or not. Also a reminder, you can see updates on scores on our website, internationalracquetball.com. Go to live events and events. Right now, Landa from Mexico leads Green from Canada, 15-12, 14-5. Oh, that's better from Bobby Horn. Acuna, we're told don't pinch a pinch. He did, and he paid for it. Bobby Horn went straight down the line. Well said. Yeah, they were both in the front court there, and you want to get them back when they're in the front court. Bobby's ready to go. We should mention that these courts are incredibly humid, given the fact that there's so many people in here. It's very warm. We're using the green pro pen ball, which is very fast. Cement walls, the ball really does fly. That should be an avoidable hinder. Wouldn't you agree, Gustavo? Totally. There'll be an appeal though from Acuna, but I have a feeling he knows the outcome of this one.
still talking. I think there's a clarification of what exactly he's asking. So in this situation, he says, I would like to appeal this. And so the referee then says, okay, the player is appealing this. This is the call I made. And then the line judges decide whether they agree with the official or not. Call stands, all three agree. That would be an appeal used against Costa Rica. The uh, call, a very good call. Basically, Bobby was not entitled to his full swing. On the back swing, he caught uh, Andres. That's why he requested the uh, avoidable. Thanks again to all of you who've joined us for this match. We had a, a great match to start the day. Gabriela Martinez taking out Carla Munoz from Chile. Gabby from Guatemala. So she advanced to the semifinal, as did Samantha Salas, who defeated Veronica Sotomayor. Salas from Mexico, Sotomayor, Ecuador. So Salas and Martinez advanced to the semifinals on our show court. Oh, that's unlucky. Horn saw it coming. He knew where it was going. He just wasn't able to get it back. Lots of play on the floor right now from both of these players, he went giving down it on everything. His knees. Current score four, serving five. Coming up next after this match, we have more quarterfinals. Javier Mar from Mexico, the Mexican national champion, winning that a few weeks ago. And he'll be taking on Samuel Murray from Canada. After that, Bolivian Carlos Keller. He won in a tiebreaker yesterday against his friend and teammate, Conrado Moscoso from Bolivia. He'll be taking on American Charlie Pratt. We close out the evening with women's and men's doubles. Women's doubles. Daza Barrios, the young teenager Barrios, has put on a show considering her young uh, and inexperienced career so far. Bolivia versus the USA of Ronda Rasich and Cheryl Lotz. Last but not least, Costa Rica, Felipe Camacho, Teofumero will take on the Bolivian pair, Moscoso Keller. This time, Roland Keller, not Carlos Keller, the brother. You see that shot, uh, side out. Oh, excuse me, that was a point for Andres. That three wall shot to push the ball all the way to the backcourt. It was not deep enough that Bobby hit. And Acuna. Groans from the crowd. You can Capitalized. see Acuna. He was there, he read it well. He just wasn't able to get it. Little wry smile from Bobby. He'll take it side out, five serving six. Not quite sure why Acuna was raising his hand there. Again, referee timeout. This is the second day of single elimination. We had three days of round robin to determine seedings for this elimination bracket, following a, followed by a day off to allow players and staff to recover. Officials do a tremendous job here, working full time, and it's, a, it's really a volunteer basis, and they give their time for the sport, and we appreciate all they've done for us over the course of this week and what is to come. Well, thank you, Tim. Yes, we did have an enjoyable day off on Tuesday, and the weather cooperated. Everybody did different things from going out to visiting the volcanoes, to the beach, to the downtown area. I do encourage you, if you've never been to this country, it's simply stunning. There's so much diversity, and it really is a beautiful country. Great hospitality. It's been a treat to be here. On the court, David Bobby Horn takes his first lead of the match. 7-6. Remember, 
Acuna raced to a 10-1 lead in game one. Bobby climbed back for parity, but that'll be an ace serve. It gives him two quick points, eight serving six. Bobby Horn fighting to take this to a tiebreaker. Tiebreaker occurs when both players have won a game. And the third one is taken to a third game to 11, win by one. But He's Acuna. not hitting that lob deep enough, allowing Andres to have a nice setup. That's smooth from Bobby Horn, straight down the right side. Acuna went for the pinch, wasn't able to put it down. 8-6. He's not hitting that first serve, not consistently. So an error from the racket of Bobby Horn. He has to let that go, refocus. He still has the lead in the second game. Acuna, he likes to hit a Z serve from here. Mixes it with a shot down the right side, which just occurred, second serve. Called it short. If the uh, if Andres would have served that ball with Bobby's racket up, that would have been a uh, side out or second serve, depending on which serve it was for Andres. Wow. Bobby Horn, great defense, keeping it alive, but eventually Acuna, who loves those pinches, really enjoys those pinches, was able to put it down. You have to check your receiver before serving every serve. Oh, terrific get, Acuna followed it around the back wall and then puts one in the floor. You can see the emotion on his face. Horn still leads 8-7. Terrific serve, but good response from Acuna. Not good enough. Horn drives it down the right side. Another point. Nine serving seven. Horn seems to have settled down. Gustavo really playing smart shots, waiting for his opportunity, playing some good defense, and in this situation, we find Costa Rica taking a timeout, probably a wise one in this situation, down by three. What do you think is going on in this situation over on the, the left side of us with Acuna? Well, I think uh, Andres right now is feeling the pressure coming from the experience. We have uh, Andres is, is uh, here. You see him on the screen. They're discussing he's feeling the pressure coming from the other side, Bobby's experience. Uh, two coaches um, talking to him about continuing to play the way he started, get back to that game. You can see taking a sip, just composing himself, breathing pretty hard, getting a lot of instruction here. Really, he's not playing poorly. You've got to give credit to Horn as well, who's been fighting quite well in game two, really settled down after going down big in game one and eventually losing it 15-10. So let's see if Horn can close out this second game and take it to a tiebreaker. He's serving 10-7. I can't believe that either one of these players is tired, in particular Andres. Great conditioning. Terrific defense from Horn. Oh, he was right there. Acuna really got away with there with one there, Gustavo. Again, trying to take a shot when you're going down to your knees, it's very hard. You have no idea where your racket is, which way it's facing. 
Very difficult shot. In that situation, you gotta wonder, maybe he over-anticipated that shot, dove too soon, and really, if he'd have stayed up on his feet, he could have made a better effort in that situation. Acuna, though, good example of how a timeout can be effective. That's he right. took his timeout, got the side out. Let's see if he can put together a string of results, string of points to close this second game out and the match. Here we go, seven serving 10. Smart shot from Acuna. I think Bobby Horn was looking for that pinch. Acuna's hit it so much. Acuna goes cross court, taking Horn a little bit by surprise. Nice, nice pass behind Bobby there. A lot of Unexpected. Mental, a lot of mental games going on in the court now. So close to finishing this match, Acuna, but Bobby Horn so close to taking it to a third. That was a good call. Lost his concentration there, second serve. Wow. Again, Very done. nice shot there from Acuna, running around to take it on his forehand. Shoots it to the left side, front wall, side out. Changes the serve. Acuna was probably going to appeal an encroachment call, but we'll let this play out. Let's see if he does now. He doesn't. He has two appeals remaining, elects not to take one. Encroachment being stepping in past the hash, the red hash lines before the ball bounces in the safety zone or on the fly. Through the legs, Bobby Horn. Acuna. Dov diving yet, but it's coming off the back wall. Acuna again. Skips it. That's his favorite shot. I think there was a little bit of contact during that a point. Horn apologizes to Acuna. I think uh, Bobby's gaining some confidence here. His experience is showing. It is nice to see the two players being congenial on the court with each other. Very emotional moment for both of these players representing their country. Packed house. All of you online watching this match, they know it full well that there are hundreds watching. And so it puts a lot of pressure on them knowing that in this situation, anything is possible with such a short 15 game. Can Horn close it out? He's up 11-8. So Acuna there, I think he just forgot who was serving on that last one. Bobby serving 11-8. That's what he was doing earlier, that splat on both sides. I don't think Andre wants to go to a tiebreaker here. He's going to do everything he can to avoid it. Terrific serve, Acuna. Replay called by our head official. I don't think Acuna was happy with how close Bobby Horn was in that situation to him. Horn playing very close. Short serve. Switches it up, Acuna. And a 
point for his trouble. Again, he put it behind Bobby, passed him on the left side. Bobby's frustrated with himself for not going down the line. You saw his gesture there. Fist pump from Acuna. At this point, I would be asking, uh, see how wet his jersey is and get him to change it because there's a referee timeout on every point. They're diving. Make him change his shirt. 9-11. Make that 10-11. U.S. might want to take a timeout. It looks like indeed they will. So timeout on the court. Timeout here. We'll be switching over the mic to Laura McCormick. Gustavo, one of the neat things about this tournament is we have a friendship division. And I have responsibilities in that di di division this afternoon. So for now, thank you so much for joining me. We'll hand over the, the mic to Laura McCormick here in a second. back now. Andres Acuna serving to Bobby Horn. He scored the last two points. We are here in uh, San Jose, Costa Rica at the 30th Pan American Games. Second game. Looks like a good serve. Ball's called down. Point. Appears that uh, Bobby is appealing. I gotta say, USA hasn't been afraid to use their appeals in this match. We haven't seen too many appeals from Costa Rica. This game, he has not appealed. Bobby uh, very wise there. He went back to the serve to call it uh, short on his appeal. He was correct. They will replay that. Second serve. Score is 10, serving 11. Oh, what a big skip from Horn. It's going to tie it up 11-11. You know, sometimes Horn likes to perform under pressure, so uh, I'm sure this is no sweat for him at 11-11. Andres Acuna serving. We've got a side out. Sneaks that one past Acuna. Not quite sure what Andres is. Referee is called an avoidable hinder on uh, Andres. Immediate appeal. And we do have one of the lines people that disagreed with that. The appeal will be considered used. It was an avoidable hinder. And that's a point for David Horn. It's 12 serving 11. This looks like it's going to go to 14-14, Laura. Oh, yeah. That's the shot that's been working for Andres. The pinch on both sides of the court when Bobby's not in the middle of the court. He gets the serve back. Oh, there was a 
ace, ace serve, 12-12. Very good call by the referee. Standing room only here at uh, San Jose Indoor Club. Oh, another ace for Andres Acuna. The crowd loving that. Like you said, standing room only, a lot of energy in here at the club. Oh. There's an appeal. Both lines people agree on that call made by Tuki Kravitz from Mexico. Call stands, appeal used. It's 13 serving 12. Missed pinch there, but it was the right shot. Bobby uh, serving, 12-13. You, you do not want to stop play until the referee has stopped play. You can appeal afterwards. Yeah, we see Acuna throwing his hand up during the rally. He didn't get the call that he wanted. And he'll now discuss it with the referee, he see took if he'll him, appeal. He took himself out of that play totally by standing there. Yep, he's going to appeal. He was looking for a hinder. So he did get it. The, ref, the line judges were on Acuna's side. So that call was reversed. The appeal is not used. Acuna has one appeal remaining. I believe uh, Bobby Horn has two still. We've seen that soft, smooth backhand from Acuna all match. Totally unexpected. Almost off speed. You almost don't hear it when it goes off the racket. Takes the uh, Bobby Horn by surprise. 13 serving, 12. Short serve, good call. Crowd is hold, holding their breath. <laughs> nice return by Bobby. Bobby sticks with it. Unbelievable. Cunha with that pinch. The crowd is on its feet cheering on their, their boy out. from Costa Rica. Time out, Bobby. Time out, USA. That was an incredible get that Bobby had there, and not much he could do with it. Andres capitalized. Acuna leading 14-12 over David Bobby Horn. This is tough. This is tough. Even though it's 14, it's not over till it's over. We've seen that before, and I, I believe Gus made the, uh, made the prediction it could be a 14-14 type situation. I'm certain his coaches now, we're looking at uh, Andres Acuna with his coaches and certainly telling him he's got to remain calm. But if I were talking to them, talking to him, I'd be telling him, you've got to go for the ace on the serve. Go for the ace on the serve. Could be either side. Something unexpected. Crowd showing their love again as Acuna steps out on the court. He's leading 14-12. This is game two. He won game one 15-10. If he could close it out here, he'll push himself through to the semifinals. We will be live streaming the semifinals tomorrow, but don't go anywhere because there's lots more competitive racquetball here at the 30th Pan American Racquetball Championship. Coming up right after this, we have Javier Mar from Mexico against Samuel Murray from Canada, and then Carlos Keller of Bolivia against USA's Charlie Pratt. That'll round out our singles, and then we have some doubles matches. 14 12, and that is serving the game. Yeah. Oh, and a skip from Horn. Acuna is the victor. It's hard to see him from the back of the court as the crowd is completely on their feet. Fantastic game. The crowd loves it.
Well, thank you all for watching. We're going to go downstairs and talk to Acuna and find out how he's feeling after the match. Thank you, Gustavo Farrell, for joining me on the mic. I'm sure we'll see you in more matches. Thank you, Laura. We'll be back, folks. Don't go anywhere. There's more of the 30th Pan American Racquetball Championship in San Jose, Costa Rica. We're here with Andres Acuna, who just won uh, in Costa Rica over David Horn. How are you feeling? You look a little emotional. Yes, it is amazing. It's science. We know that the Pan American is going to be here in home. We were training so hard for making this a special tournament, making a special and the special one for Costa Rica, for all these people, for all the people who, who work very hard in, in the courts, out the, out the courts, our trainers, our federation. I think uh, for me it's very important for winning for the first time, for, for me in here, in home, in my court, in front of my people. It is very special, I think one of the most special uh, days of my life and the most special game by now. You look like you are working very hard out there. How does it feel to have the audience up on their feet cheering for you and calling your name when you're right here at home? It gave me a, a lot of confidence. Um, I'm completely sure that I will not make this in other place. Uh, this small difference that, that give us the, the winning is because of, of the crowd, because of the people that give us that, that opportunity to, to make this possible. Can you say a few words about your opponent, David Horn? He played very, very good. Uh, I know he was a very tough player. I doesn't want to play him in this tournament. But when I see the draw, well, uh, not, nothing is easy. And he's a very, very big player. And well, congratulations to him too. So you're moving on to the semifinals, which you'll be playing in tomorrow. What are you thinking going into the semifinals? I think uh, it is very important for me. I hope to enjoy and give all I, all I have and more, more than I can, more than I can, more that I have in here for all these people to make them feel proud about Costa Rican racquetball and then for me. Well, congratulations, and I wish you the best of luck in the next round. Thank you very much.